maze balls. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. Jeez, what a bitch. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Good save? Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. <laughs> Clearly. I am freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way! Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. But before we do that, let me pause so that I could say, Hey everybody, welcome to another episode in my playthrough of Life is Strange. If you remember the end of the last episode, we got kind of caught in a time loop that even Chloe's, or even Max's superpowers couldn't get us out of. Uh, and I got a little frustrated. Uh, because I felt like I was doing everything right, but the game just kept taking us back to that point. So I ended the game, and I went online and looked around, and as far as I could tell, that has never happened to anyone else, or if it has, they sure didn't write about it on the internet. Because um, I just, you know, I searched for Life is Strange Chloe's Pockets, and all I found were, you know, a couple little snippets of uh, play on how to get past that part, and everything worked fine. So I started up the game here, and uh, luckily it had saved right at that point, and as you saw, um, we were able to get past that part. So, yay! Strange computer game stuff. But now we're back, and everything is great. Um, let's see, is there anything new here in this journal? Uh, I think we read the stuff on the left, but not on the right. So let's go and read that now since we're looking at this. Chloe was late, duh, so I was happy to be distracted by seeing Joyce again. The diner is like a museum piece, except with customers. Better still, the food hasn't changed at all. Joyce seemed really glad to see me again, and she didn't give me a guilt trip for not staying in touch. After William died, she wanted to move forward with a new life and husband. Chloe doesn't want to accept that. Joyce wasn't happy about Chloe getting busted with weed. I really should have stepped up and taken the hit instead of Chloe. I feel bad that Joyce has to defend David for laying the smack down on his own stepdaughter. William was always so kind and gentle with us. Can't even imagine how Chloe would be if he hadn't died. Um, well, Joyce is on here now. Let's get the deets on Joyce. Talking to Joyce Price after five years was almost as intense as seeing Chloe again. Especially right back in ye old Two Whales Diner. That clinking of silverware and the smell of sizzling bacon rewound me back to being a kid, hanging out there with my parents for breakfast. I remember her always smiling at Chloe, even in mischief. Doubt she smiles at her hijinks now, but they still banter like mother and daughter. I don't know about that. I moved to Seattle so soon after William died that I never saw how it affected Joyce. I'm glad she's not pissed at me for being selfish and never looking back. I still remember the last time Chloe and I saw him alive. I wonder how often Joyce relives that day. That's the worst kind of rewind, one you can't control. But if I could go back to that moment, what would I do? I can only imagine how Joyce ended up with David Madsen. Talk about opposites. You can tell she loves him, disturbing as that sounds. Maybe she just wanted a more structured life for herself. Obviously, it didn't work out that way with Chloe. I hope they both treat her right. Joyce deserves the best. I don't know, man. Joyce is awful bitchy towards Chloe. I mean, I know Chloe is a handful, but geez. And then, um... Yeah, it said there was something new in here, but there really isn't. Okay, so... Oops! Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Okay, somebody spilled Shh. something. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. <laughs> okay. Is that all the stuff I was supposed to remember? Is that it? Are we done? Is that all the stuff? Is that it? Okay. Um, 
This is sure the hell better than that other garbage. What? I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. Am I still remembering so stuff? What are you waiting for? Oh, here we go. Okay. Let us now pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Yeah, rewind. Oh, wait, huh? Where's the little dot that I'm supposed to rewind to? Was I not supposed to rewind yet? I don't know, man. Um, let's see. Speak. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Here we go. Uh, let's see. Uh, trucker drops his mug. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? Well, then, um, alert on the cop's radio and his partner leaves, I think. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Yeah, and then, um, Justin and Trevor fight and Joyce stops them. Justin and Trevor are fighting and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. And then the jukebox goes crazy. Oh. Okay, I didn't see any of these things happening. Why did the jukebox go crazy? I didn't see any of this stuff happen. Crap. Uh <laughs> look at Chloe. She's like, yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Well, I'm gonna get this one wrong, unfortunately, because I, I don't know what happened. Did the trucker... There was nobody standing over there, so I don't think the... I don't know, a trucker said something, so this one I'm going to The jukebox goes crazy as the trucker tries to play a new song. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Uh, let's see. Let's see, because as if we haven't driven this point home enough yet. Oops. Dude, Did you, you right. break another cop? Really? No refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a oh, dick. You're so cool. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. Uh, I'm cockroach. That is wild. Cockroach. Okay, I didn't see the cockroach. <laughs> Look at that damn thing. This is a sad day in Maxwell. This is sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So, what are you waiting for? Yeah, she's like, oh man, you predicted now, three things in a row, but you, next few even though the jukebox yeah, went crazy, it wasn't because the cop or the trucker tried to play a song, so you're full of shit, Max. You don't really have powers. I'm going to predict. Okay, yes, yes, we're going to predict. Uh, trucker drops his mug. The trucker. And, so what happens? And then uh, cops radio partner leaves. The cop. Well. Okay, and then uh, Joyce stops the fight. Justin. This is getting. And then a cockroach. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. Yeah, let's see. Let's see if everything happens like we said. Oh, okay. Different camera angle. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait. Really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. But he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. <laughs> Oh. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy! The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with <laughs> no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. That's the first she thinks she thinks of. <laughs> Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. I don't have you time. did not just say that. <laughs> uh, check out your Whoa. nose. Too much blow? 
Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Oh man, we didn't grab any food to give to that dog. Remember, I wanted to get some food to give to that dog so we could get past it. Oh man, I can't pick up any food. There's juicy sausage right there. The dog would love that. Uh, I could look. So we've already looked at all this stuff. I got you, babe. Okay. <laughs> How apropos. But no fucking way. Okay, I just wanted to see if she said something, would say something different. Hmm. How am I going to get past this I'm dog? I think ready for thirds. He but thinks he's ready for thirds. First. My stomach plans ahead. Uh, bye, Joyce. Your stomach is stocking up for winter. I'd love to lecture you over coffee, but okay. I prefer to drink in silence. All right, well, I mean, yeah. Weird lady's still weird. Oh, yeah. Hello again. Mm -hmm. Back to breakfast, eh? All right, well, I don't see any place where I can pick up some food to give to the dog, so... Don't know how I'm going to get past the dog. Uh... Uh... I don't think I could rewind past the dog, can I? I don't think I can. It's too late for that now, probably. Anyway, uh, are we going outside or not? What's going on? What's... what the... Oh, I guess we have to speak to... Chloe. Hey, Chloe. Can I go outside? Okay, Supergirl. Let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and people to do. Come on, <laughs> before do. Mom starts some more shit. Let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead. Chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with, too. <laughs> You don't want anybody talk to me like that. Screw you. Hey, Kate. What's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please, go ahead. You are Grow up. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now. Let's rock. Okay, I'm I'm liking her less. <laughs> <laughs> Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. They'll live. Now can I go pick up some food and bring it to the dog? Anyway, I was trying to think. We have this rewind ability that allows us to kind of like teleport in a way. And I was wondering if I could use it to get past the um the dog, but I don't think it'll work. Yep. Oh, who's this guy? What are you, what are you looking at? What the? Huh? Who the? Who's that guy looking at Chloe walking across the street? It's a lot of junk. Is this a race? Keep up. How many times are you going to get pissed at me this week? That depends on you, and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back, and she's also supersized? We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. David might be a douche, but you did steal his gun. Is everybody armed in Arcadia Bay now? Only the ones who shouldn't be, like Step Dildo. <laughs> Until now. I'm not in the revolution yet, Che. You are the revolution, Max. So we should figure out how to best use and abuse your power with a test. I don't like this. Drink? Yuck. You are Yuck. so cute. You haven't changed a bit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? <laughs> nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. Oh, this sounds like a fun quest. Let's go look for five bottles. Okay. Well, let's look in here. 
Every car has its own tale and history. <laughs> okay, that's good to know. Here's an old doll. A creepy old doll. Look at that thing. Yeesh. Oh, poor thing. They left you here all alone. Let's check our little um, pictures page. Uh, well, we... This is probably going to happen here, right? Don't know where this was. It looks like an outfield wall at a baseball field. That's what it looks like to me. But I uh, haven't seen that. So, probably something else that we missed. We. That I missed. There's a bottle up there. If I could get up there. Car wreck. All this rusted metal makes me feel serene. Am I morbid or just goth? I don't know. Hmm. I could use this board as a bridge. <laughs> Doesn't look too heavy. I guess we need to use a board as a bridge. Where'd it go? Well, I don't have an option to grab it. Oh, some syringes. That's nice. Oh, gross. So disturbing to see old syringes on the ground. It is disturbing. Oh, here's some gun shells. Let's look at these. Those shells look fresh. A lot of junk here, man. It's a shame. This place is beautiful. <laughs> Football. Sort of. The Bigfoots were here. Yep. If there's a football, it must be from the Bigfoots. Let's walk the plank. Hmm. Huh. I could use this board as a bridge. Doesn't look too heavy. Alright, let's move this thing. Way heavier than I thought. Ugh. Okay, let's walk across here. Cool. At least not everything is broken around here. Cool, a bottle. I'm gonna take it. Hello, bottle number one. Four more to go. Oh, yeah. This is the quest to end all quests. Here's a chair. Let's sit in it. Although this junkyard is a dive, I see why Chloe hangs here. She's a steampunk. It actually feels like Chloe and I are kids again. We're hiding out and plotting our future. Despite all the chaos and bullshit, I feel so giddy hanging out with her again. So happy. Like we've both gone back in time. Are you done talking, Max? I think she's done talking. Let's get up. Alright, that was that was moving. Let's um look for more bottles. I think this is a dead end here. I think we need to go back down and around maybe. Hello, squirrel. Chloe doing? Hey Chloe, how you doing man? <laughs> That's my Chloe. <laughs> I have to find dirty ass bottles while you chill? Not fair. I have to prep the range, crybaby? And I've been tripping hard about where you got this rewind power. From God? Or the gods? So, bow. <laughs> we can make the world bow. Are you ready for that? Uh, no way. No way. I still don't even know how my power works, or for how long. Dude, you fuck shit up, you rewind, you fix it. Drop the mic, boom. Spin, rinse, and repeat. I'm just altering time and space. Oh yeah, and history. <laughs> no biggie. You already altered history by saving my life, smartass. Let's see what else you can do. I don't like the way she talks to Max. I don't like it at all. Yep. Looking around a junkyard. I don't want to go that way. 
<laughs> I'm just looking for bottles, man. Where to find bottles? Maybe in an old refrigerator. Hmm. Well, there's a bottle up there. How am I going to get it? Look what we have here. A cute little bottle for the taking. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, you doof. You doof. Rewind. Um, let's see. Maybe there'll be something that we could put there to catch it so that it doesn't break. Not sure what. I don't think a crate's going to do anything. Maybe I can use this oh, okay. to reach the bottle. Okay, well, that's that's one way to do it. Instead of catching it, we could just climb up to it. All right, do it to it. Boom. Only three bottles left. Oh, she's good at math. So sad to look at a grounded boat. I wonder who owned that and where they are now. Hey, Warren. What's up, buddy? These people type too fast. All right. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Um, I don't know how far back to go here. Let's see here. Okay. Um, okay, this is where the new one is. Uh, we are so going ape. Newburgh is 60 miles, so we should leave around 5, I drive. Hell yeah, we will in your new ride. We have to get supplies for the drive-in. Maybe we can have dinner first. Or whatever. Anyway, go ape. Too late, smiley face. Too late. I don't know, whatever. Here's an old camera. Let's look at it. Beyond repair. Rest in peace. Okay. This is gripping. I wonder how many generations of fashion went through that washing machine. Mm -hmm. Hey, look, a bottle that we could easily reach. Coming this fall, Max Caulfield, Bottle Hunter. Oh, that's a good one. Three, Three down, bottles. two more to go. Talk about finding a bottle in a haystack. Train. Two more bottles to go. Wow, sir. That looks exactly oh. like the same dough from my tornado vision. Whoa. What the? That dough is the perfect photo op. Is it? Staring at me as if we have a connection. Things from another dimension, man, I'm telling you. <laughs> she doesn't even look at the picture. Why does that bother me so much? <laughs> well, let's see what the picture looks like. <laughs> I knew that I knew it wouldn't be there. Yep. It's not there. How did I miss these pictures? I guess I'm not as thorough as I like to think I am, huh? Alright, let's go back down here. See what we missed, if anything. <laughs> Piece of clothing. Of all the crap around here, she's gonna look at that. This was an old school punk shirt. Oh, and what was this? And this? But what about this? Oh, hey. Look. No way! I totally remember going there when I was a kid. I loved the Hush Puppies. Mm, that sounds good. Now the sign is just Arcadia Bay junk. Might be a little hungry, even though it is midnight as I play this. Which is stupid, because I have to be somewhere at 8 a.m. <laughs> Oh man, this is really exciting stuff here.
I mean, it'd be kind of cool to look around this place, you know? I mean, junkyards can be cool. You can find neat stuff. Hmm. Car wreck. I wonder if Chloe thinks about her father when she looks at all these smashed up cars. I don't know, man. Why don't you ask her? Hey, hey, Chloe. These smashed up cars remind you of when your dad died in a car wreck? I'm assuming that's how he I died. I know there's a bonfire spot where people party around here. Oh, yeah. So nope, I don't want to go there. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do, though. What about me? What about nope, what I, I want? Nope, I don't want to go there. All right, fine, jeez. Hey, a campfire. Here we go. What the? Who did that? Look. I'm sure this is a popular party pit. Here's a bottle. Oh yes, we can use this one for a target. Mm -hmm. Four one bottles. One more bottle to go. One more bottle to go. Oh my gosh. Max, don't fuck around, rewind. What if I don't? <laughs> Oops, will she die? Come on, get on with it. Rewind already. I mean, I, I'm pressing re left or right trigger, the one that's supposed to make it rewind faster. It doesn't work, I'm here to tell you. What? Okay, go. What the hell? What the? Why did it show that? Okay, do I? I have the bottle, right? Okay. Oh, all right, it didn't fall that time. Beats me, man. Eat shit and live. Thanks for the tip. What's this place? Here's... Oh, there's no motto here. Okay. Probably can't go this way. I don't want to go that way. That's fine. I was just testing. I was just testing you. Okay, we're back to this car wreck. And here's a neat little place here. Bottle. Bong. Makeup case. Mi Mixtape. Bracelet. Kinds of fun stuff in here. That kind of hurts. That kind of hurts? What? Hey, whatever. I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. They really were besties. That could have been me instead of Rachel. Yeah, you could be missing right now. Rachel songs. I wonder if Chloe would ever make me a mixtape. Paper. I want to die. Jeez. Who wrote this? Somebody who wants to die. Leaflet. So Rachel did go to a Vortex Club party. This flyer is dated right before she disappeared. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> she sees that and assumes that Rachel went to a party. That's uh, quite a stretch there. Graffiti. Chloe was here. Rachel was here. I don't want to intrude, but I was here. Intrude! Now we're officially a trio. We just have to find Rachel. This is going to have consequences. I don't want to intrude, but I was here. Rachel was way better at darts than Chloe, probably because Chloe was always drunk. <laughs> okay, let's look at this bottle. Oh, there you are, little bottle. Trying to play hide and seek? Nope, just sitting right there on the chair out in the open. Voila. Now I can deliver this bottle booty to Captain Chloe. That's nice. Ouch. Ouch, indeed. Don't know how I'm going to get over that. Okay. Let us uh, deliver some bottles to Chloe.
Hi, Chloe. I got you some bottles. <laughs> That's my Chloe. Thanks, Max. Took you long enough, dumbass. Wait, one more for the road? You're serious about this. We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Max, you have to help me aim. <laughs> oh, okay. Show me the way, Max. All right. Where's the? I need the... to see you shoot first. What the? Oh, okay. All right. Good job, Max. What? It, uh, huh? What? Huh? That was awesome, but Chloe wants those bottles down. Oy vey. Okay. Slurp. Show me the way, Max. Right. Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. Oh, yes! Did you see that shit, Max? Duh. That was so fucking cool! Now for the second bottle. Now, Max, where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. Pull it. Ah, oh, jeez, you suck, Chloe. Man, I mean, we're not even that far away. Jeez. Good lord, this is tedious. We're gonna do this for all six bottles? I mean, I get it. I know how to use my powers. Now, Max, where do I aim? Aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. Watch out, Nathan. Now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. She should shoot herself in the head. Give me something to shoot, Max. Um, shoot that rim. Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now? Um... Whoa. Hella yes! <laughs> nice shooting, Tex. Now that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? <laughs> like, never. So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? Okay. Um, Dude, I need a target before I right. shoot. I was gonna say, I said shoot yourself in the head. That would be a real test of the well, rewind Max? ability, right? Uh, yeah, shoot the uh, freaking bumper. Whoa, hey. Huh? Okay, you're too busy to help, oh, so okay. I'm gonna kill the car bumper. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jesus, I shot myself! Ugh, I shot myself! Back up, back Stupid up! gun! <laughs> Hold on, Chloe. Oh, <laughs> I have no choice. I have to back up. We let her suffer for a little bit. Okay, don't shoot the Dude, bumper. Dude, I need a target before I shoot. Shoot the tire. How I don't about care. aiming for the left tire? Adios, spinning wheel of death. Oh. Get out of the way, dudes. Nice Uber job. Cool. I cannot believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero. Now it's your turn to bust a cap. Oh, what's wrong, I don't girl? know. Max, your nose. Damn. You think I maybe... don't feel so super. Max! Oh. Holy. You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. 
glad I feel normal again. I better go chat up Chloe. Yeah, you better. You better. She's gonna get mad at you if you don't. You don't want her to be mad. <laughs> Look at her. Chloe can even chill out playing with a gun. Yeah, she's so cool. Okay. Looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo-hoo. Max is afraid. I know you can handle this. And I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Oh, whoa. Who's this guy? Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Hey, dude. What's Where up, Where is man? it, Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. Yeah, we man. both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend, and it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit. Give it to me right now, asshole. You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? <laughs> Please. Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Nope. I'm gonna shoot you right in the gut. Uh, I'm not, I'm not gonna shoot him. Just back off, dude. Come on, girly. Shoot me. All right. Ah, oh, Christ. You're more like Abbott and Costello. Nice piece. I'll consider this interest on your loan. Thanks. You have until Friday to pay me, or I'll track you down with this interest. Have a good play, kids. I mean, really, imagine yourself in you that really situation. You really stood your ground. I freaked. I don't like guns. It'll be hard to keep Nathan off my ass. My step shit will have his other gun sealed in an electrified bunker by now. Sorry, Chloe. I've never held a gun on a human being before. Not cool. I know, Max. Really. I'm actually relieved it worked out this way instead. And there are more guns out there. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. He just oh, wants his money. Frank took Chloe's gun because of me. So, Frank took Chloe's gun because of Max. Wowzer. Why did Frank have Rachel's bracelet? Yeah, wowzer. We need to talk about this later, but I better follow Chloe now. So, I, I think that, you know, movies and TV shows, people just shoot people, man. It happens way too much in movies and TV shows. Just too much. I mean, imagine yourself in this situation. You're standing out here with your friend. You have this gun in your hand. Whether you're comfortable with the gun or not, you're not just going to go shooting somebody. At least I hope not. Not unless you're a psychopath. I mean, yes, he pulled out the knife. But he, you know, he backed away when he saw the gun. Oh my gosh, I'm going to sneeze. Hold on. Ah, thank goodness for the mute button. Um... Just, just another day of Max's fucked up life. Time to go get Chloe. I don't know, man. I, I just... I just don't think you'd be so quick to shoot. I just don't think you would. That's pretty serious, shooting a person. <laughs> let's see what happened. What would have happened if we did shoot him? Let's, let's go back and see. I mean, we can do that. I'm just curious. Come on, game. Go! Let's go! So we're going to shoot him this time, just because we want to see what happens. What the... Oh. What the... What did I just freaking rewind? Oh, 
Okay, well, can't rewind that. All right, well, what good is this power anyway if I can't rewind stuff that I want to rewind? Oh, holy hell, I'm all the way back here. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna quit my bitching. Look at her. Chloe can even chill out playing with a gun. Are you ready to do this? We should jet before. We have plenty of time to do anything we want whenever we want. Make me proud, sister. Okay, so we could skip this crap. And this time we're going to shoot, just to see what happens. That oh. is hilarious. Oh, man. I'll remember you, kid. I'll remember you almost shot me. And you'll wish I had no memory, because I never forget. Well, that's not good. It's interesting, You though. have until Friday to pay me. Don't ever pull crap like this again. It'll be the last time you do. Try bullets next time, brainiacs. <laughs> Sorry. You are awesome. Thanks for standing up for me. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Okay. Jesus, I almost shot this guy. And now he'll be more dangerous to Chloe and me. Yeah, he will. Is she gonna say something else? Maybe. So, uh, I'm gonna run it back and go with my first choice. I just wanted to see what would happen there. I mean, this isn't a bad outcome, really. I mean, at least we didn't shoot the guy. But, yeah, he's gonna be on the rampage now. Um, which is bad. We still have the gun, which I guess is good, but maybe not. I don't think it's good that Chloe has a gun. So yeah, I'm going to rewind this and we're going to go back to my original choice. Just because I think that really is the better outcome. Let's get this gun out of Chloe's hands. Make him a nervous woman. Okay, so... Oh, photo? All right. Why did it say photo before, but I just didn't notice it? Or do I have to walk on this side of her to see the photo? Choice. I don't know, man. Oh, Kate texted us. When did that happen? Um. Okay. Let's see. This is. Uh, let's see. Max, sorry to have bothered you by asking for your advice. I guess I shouldn't do anything but let people enjoy my video all over the world. Kate, that is so not what I meant. I just want you to be careful. Too late, I guess. But thank you for answering my call this morning. I really needed a friend and you delivered. I'm on your side. Hugs and kisses. And then um, photo here of Max with, or Chloe with a gun. And then there's Frank there. Frank. I'll never forget Frank, if only because he's the first and last person I will ever aim a gun at. How did Chloe end up in this sketchy drug dealer's orbit? The weird thing is that when I first saw him threatening Chloe in the junkyard, I was more shocked how uncreepy he looked. I expected some tryhard gangster, but he looked more like a dumpster diving troll, which I guess he kinda is since we were on his turf testing out my rewind skills for Chloe's amusement. Though he didn't look like a serial killer, his vibe, aura, energy, whatever, was bad. I could literally feel the hair on my arms prickling. He wanted the money Chloe owed him, so it didn't make sense he would hurt her, but I wasn't going to take a chance. So yes, I actually threatened him with David's gun. Ridiculous. Fortunately, none of us ended up like reservoir dogs, and I saw that maybe Frank isn't as scary as I thought. But I don't want Chloe near him ever again since he was wearing one of Rachel Amber's bracelets for what-the-fuck reasons, I doubt Chloe will be partying with him anymore. But he's at the top of our suspect list now. Yes, he is. And, uh, so, like I said, we're gonna... Look at her. Are you ready to Chloe, do this? can... We should... We're gonna skip all this. Proud, so... Skippity, skip, 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 and rewind time back to my original choice of not shooting. Come on. And then we're gonna skip all this. Okay, and now we're back here. 
And you'd have to think the game saved there, right? But I didn't see the little icon show up. So, let's uh, walk forward here. And, um... We'll Chloe's waiting Chloe. to go for a walk. We both need a timeout from here. Okay, I'm going to end this episode here. Uh, I'll probably go ahead and leave the junkyard just so that the game saves. So uh, when we come back next time, uh, we'll see what happens when we leave the junkyard. See where we go. Well, <laughs> hope you enjoyed uh, Max searches for bottles in a junkyard. It was uh, some really compelling stuff. Yeah, something to think about. Thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a like or a comment. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, man, make sure you subscribe so you can see me search Thus for more bottles. That's another in chapter junkyard. in my never-ending drama. Time to grab Chloe and bail. Uh huh. That'll do it for this episode. Hope you join me in the next one.